We are back. Part 7. And if I remember correctly, I named it <laughs> something. Okay. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? Of course, I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. See, you can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. You can come in if you promise you are. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you not I had a boyfriend, mind. Miss A. Either way, just well, come girls, on in and tell me the secret. We get embarrassed of each other. Why do you get ideas like that? I don't know where I go. It seems like everyone that. is gay these days. Now, that's okay with Hello. me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. It's a bit, look, Say, that's a bit homophobic, I and I highly apologise for choosing that option. Look in the I didn't realise that it was going to be like that. Then. So, don't judge me for that. I'm either way, you either let her in or not. Do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. All he the was pancakes. The king of pancakes. I'll wash up if you. I can do that. I like washing up. My dad was the king of McDonald's breakfast. Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we've got. I almost felt like something was missing. <sighs> Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this app. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So... They come every time you play the piano. Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. Hmm. You sad -o. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you times. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, I probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young.
I featured a lot. Sorry. But not sorry. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite Catch them. Videos. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. Made I probably never Morocco? really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I love the building. Love the rain. Love it all. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having yeah. a bad day. Who is some company? Sure. Coffee sounds great. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along. Looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. This is our building. All four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? <laughs> That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. I'm going to stop so, it and start it again we'll without this on. What do we know already? I like having my face there. I know that rude, bald guy lives in flat six. It's in the future it's all time. about him. Very self-conscious. I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. But hey, wait. I remember some woman lived there with me. I've not seen her for ages. I must have split up. Would you be our potential suspect? No. That jerk? Never. Fine, I'll trust you on that. I guess we can count him out. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type, but I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. Told it's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when the next She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat. Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. Leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What 
kind of noises. Like screaming, explosions, guns. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. You know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes, which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. Huh. Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There we go. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Her husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall, when she's pushing a pram with a baby inside. She always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? We never talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. She's going to get upset no matter what you do, so... Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Straight out. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Right here, I'm going to save it and start again without my face, okay? So, so, what's up?